addiction is something that is only pertaining to either alcohol or either watching porn or getting addicted to psychedelics getting addicted to marijuana or anything smoking or anything but remember addiction what is addiction addiction is a coping mechanism that you have used to escape your existing reality your existing reality is something that you're not willing to see so you're temporarily seeking out for something that will kind of give you a deviation from this how does it start you start to feel all of you listen to this very carefully if this is you you start to feel a vacuum inside of you and most often this vacuum comes because you don't feel loved because of this vacuum the vacuum's purpose the discomfort and the vacuum's purpose is there in your life so that you can become aware of the parts of you that don't feel loved and you can love it but not all of us have been taught how to deal with these emotions of uh, emptiness emotions of depression emotions of anxiety and all of that right so now always what do we do we find something on the outside to fill this vacuum now i'm going to just just imagine this is a bucket so the bucket this is the vacuum that you have so you feel something on the outside somebody is saying traveling used to be my uh, addiction so people use to fill this bucket people use traveling drinking smoking porn social media makeup shopping love attachment to people anything on the outside that you feel is going to fill this vacuum on the inside will keep you addicted to it will keep you enslaved to it because temporarily now let's assume how the alcoholism starts now temporarily you're feeling this vacuum you seek out for alcohol so you start consuming 30 ml of alcohol this 30 ml of alcohol is good enough for you to fill this bucket once this bucket is filled after 30 ml of alcohol 10 days 15 days it is feeling nice after the 15th day or 16th day we develop something called threshold we have a threshold to the amount of alcohol we're consuming i'm giving alcohol as an example so that it can be relatable to so many people so now you you reach a threshold now the 30 ml is not enough to give you the same feeling of fullness that it gave you before so 30 becomes 60 60 becomes 90 90 keeps increasing to a point where your entire every time you feel some discomfort the first thing that you want to do is go to alcohol so many people use relationships like this so many people use love like this so many people use netflix food like this to fill this remember every time you're dependent on something else on the outside to fill the vacuum on the inside you'll forever be addicted to it and this vacuum or any kind of a validation that you get from the outside to fill that bucket is like this bucket with a hole in the bottom initially it will be full because there is a hole it gets emptier even sooner so now what ends up happening because every time you feel full empty you feel full empty so you're constantly in the search for something to make you feel full not understanding that the only thing that can seal this completely and the only thing that can fill this completely is you starting to love yourself for who you are there's literally nothing else in this world that can make you feel full that is why i tell people even when clients come to me and one more thing whatever you see on social media about celebrities about all of this i'm going to come back to that a little later that is not the truth i say this with so much conviction because i work with most of them i understand what insecurities they have and i understand what all they using to fill this void on social media it looks all oh my god look at that couple goals and all of that it's not that so now coming back to this how do you start filling this 
So now, first of all, what you need to start understanding is the entire concept of self-love is not about, oh, I'm feeling so worthy of myself. You're not going to be like a butterfly just going everywhere and feeling so happy or fulfilled on the inside. And social media has been spreading the wrong kind of self-love information to us saying, getting massage is self-love, painting your nails is self-love, getting a spa done is self-love. All of that is a way to relax yourself. You know what true self-love is? Self-love is your ability to sit with yourself without seeking for a distraction. Addiction starts as a distraction. Addiction starts as a distraction. And you use the distraction again and again and again and make it the addiction. But when you fill your own cup, like how he said, Vishal said, when he starts filling his own cup, he won't need anything on the outside to fill his cup. What do you think you'll become? You'll become self-sufficient. A lot of people misunderstand self-sufficiency to self-independence. Oh, if I start to love myself, then I don't need anybody to love me. Remember, yes, you don't need anybody to love you, right? There is a difference between I need somebody to love me. I want somebody to love me, right? When I love myself enough, I'm happy to share that love with another companion, which is my partner, and I'm happy to receive that love. But you're not in a place where you're longing or begging or pleading for that kind of a love from anybody else. How many of you understand what, I, what I'm talking about? You're not longing, you're not begging, you're not pleading people to fall in love with you. That is why I was talking to my team also a couple of days back. If you have ever seen a couple of your friends be in a toxic relationship, right? If they're in a toxic relationship and you are able to see that relationship and you call your friend and say, hey, what's wrong with you? Why are you even with this person? It's so toxic. You are able to see the toxicity because you're probably healed. For a person who has wounds, let's say they have a lot of unprocessed and unhealed wounds on the inside, the toxicity is like a medicine. Because the toxicity is what they know they deserve. If you grew up in an environment where you were not loved by your parents, by your uh, primary caregivers, you start to develop a belief that says, I am not worthy of love. So that is why in the masterclass, I spoke about the avoidant and the anxious, uh, anxious attachment cell. How many of you remember that? The avoidant attachment cell and the anxious, avoid, uh, anxious uh, attachment cell. So now, let's assume... I'm going to give you an example. Let's say there is a person, okay? This person grew up in an environment where they did not feel loved, okay? This person grew up in an environment where they were loved, taken care, and given the right kind of support from their primary caregivers. The way this people, right? The first kind of people view the world. This is glasses, okay? The way they view the world is very different from the way these people view the world. Why? These people, because they feel they're unworthy of love, anytime a person who comes into their life and gives them all the love, they will start running away from it because that is not familiar. How many of you understand this? That is not familiar. When somebody gives you all the love, you want to run away from that because you feel like this is too good to be true. Nobody has done this to me in my life. This is too good to be true. I'm going to run away. Where do these people run towards? They run towards people who will treat them bad. Why? Because that satisfies their belief system of I am unworthy of love. So they run towards these people who are emotionally unavailable and they run towards these people who won't treat them well in the hope that the day they start treating me well, which means I am worthy. How many of you understand this? How many of you understand this? Yes. So now the way these people, now let's say this person Looks at these person, these two people are friends. Let's assume these two people are friends. This person is attracted to a person who's toxic. This person is going to go have a conversation with this person saying, hey, dude, what's wrong with you? Why are you even with a person who's emotionally unavailable to you? For this person, they're literally able to see what is happening. But for them, they don't. 
Why? Because this person is filling a void inside of them. Now, until this person starts to fall in love with themselves and understand what their worth is, only then they'll be able to look at the toxic person and say, hey, listen, no, this does not work. Why do I say this with so much conviction? Not because of the research that I've done. Because of being in this pattern for 12 years. I've literally lived this pattern for 12 years. Running away from people who kind of made me feel I'm amazing and running towards people who made me feel like a piece of shit. Excuse my language. But that is exactly what happened. I kept doing this yo-yo for enough amount of time until finally I told myself and decided this is not happening. Now, when I look back, I'm able to understand my patterns. And now when I look back, I'm able to see why I'm attracted to a person who actually loves me and takes care of me. Because I know I'm amazing. I know I can also give that person an amazing life. Are you all with me so far? Feeling so heavy in my heart just now. Yeah, I understand. When you're going through this, now most of you, can, most of you will tell me, Gayatri, you've gone through that, so now it's easier for you. Let me tell you. Yes, now it is easier. When you're going through this, it is a mess. When I was going through that, it felt like a mess. Everything seems to work out well, then everything seems to fall down. Everything seems to work out well, everything seems to fall down. But when you truly make the change, from within. When I started to love myself, like genuinely, right? When I genuinely started to love myself, I did not have a need to be anything else other than me. Listen to this carefully. When you start to love yourself for who you are, you will not have a need to be anything else other than you. The people pleasing, will naturally disappear. That is why I say, don't try hard to stop people pleasing. It won't happen. It is like trying really hard to not have a fever. Fever is only a symptom of an infection that has happened on the inside. Treat the infection, fever will get taken care of. Most people are just obsessed with the fever that they have. So now what ends up happening is in the process, if you are a people pleaser, Rather than trying to say, for example, most people pleasers, when they come for the sessions, they tell me, oh, guys, you know, you told us I'm going to start drawing boundaries. And two, three days after drawing boundaries, they feel so uncomfortable on the inside. They feel like it was better to be a people pleaser. How many of you know this? It was better to be a people pleaser. Because now, let's say this is surface. This is root. Changing people pleasing attitudes and only trying to say a no just because somebody told you, somebody in a three hour session came and told you, hey, start drawing boundaries, will not create a tangible and a substantial result. Because in the root, you still have fear of abandonment. Till you treat the fear of abandonment. Now let's say on a surface level, you said, no, I'm not going to come. But this one gets triggered right now. Oh my God, what if they don't call me the next time? Oh my God, will they love me the next time? All of that. When this gets triggered, you start to feel uncomfortable. Now, rather than saying, drawing boundaries, start within and start addressing the abandonment issues that you have on the inside. Because once you start addressing the abandonment issues that you have on the inside, when the root is taken care of, the symptoms disappear. That is why I call this work very, very sacred. Because it will change the remaining either 40 or 50 years of your life on this planet. You have a choice to remain the same person that you are and move forward and remain miserable for the rest of your life. You have a choice to go through the discomfort and go through the grind and become the best version of yourself. What do you want to choose?